the message we'd like to get out to the tourists that's coming to Las Vegas is our jaywalkers. We have the ones that are walking, looking at the casinos and the signs. We have the ones who are driving are also looking at the casino and the signs when they should be paying attention to what they're doing. And it's not gonna be funny to anybody when you're one of those 60, 70, 80 people that die here a year in a fatal accident. It's just not worth it. Right now, we got a guy, he's crossing the street. He's got two beers in his hand and he's got a bundle of clothes, which doesn't make sense. And now he stumbles onto the medium. And I probably need to go over there and deal with him and, and see what's going on so he doesn't stumble out into the uh, southbound traffic. Okay, other than being extremely drunk, I'm gonna get out and go grab him before he runs across the street. Come here, man. Oh, that's who it is. 681. Drop that. Drop the beer. Drop the beer. Drop, no, drop it. Don't finish it. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. What is that stuff there? What? What is that stuff? Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Where do you get them clothes from? In front of the Monte Carlo. Drop down on your knees right there. Drop down on your knees. Drop down. Drop down, drop down, right there. Hang tight. Stop performing. Stop being I'm stupid. I'm here in Las Vegas for one reason. Why you get? Where'd you just steal this from? I didn't steal that. Okay, where you get it from? You're standing over there trying to stuff women's clothes. That don't look like it'll fit you. I have a fetish for women's clothes. I like to wear, you know. What? Tell me. You like to wear what? Panties. Come on, stand up. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. There you go, stand up. All right, let's walk to my car. Come on. What's wrong with you? You just walk by a rack of clothes and just grab a whole rack of clothes? That's not acceptable out here on the strip. You know better. You know better. I told you before, I'm everywhere. Did I tell you that yesterday? Last week? Did we, did we not? Oh, you remember me now. Oh, you saw me jaywalking. Huh? There you go, with That's the That's how you got me, huh? There jaywalking. you go. Right here, hang Damn. tight. Hang tight, hang tight right here. See, they always say just stay with the flow and traffic. Tom, you want it right now? You got a warrant? Absolutely not. Are you sure? Yes, Nobody sir. Nobody wants you? Are you positive? Nobody wants it. <laughs> yeah, not even a female companion. Nobody wants me. I am the loneliest man in Las Vegas. He's got a little bull elephant in him. You gotta come out the top. Yeah. Watch the brand. Keep the eye on the brand because hey, Gabe, you need that's the most important part. The brand. <laughs> cut him. The brand. What's No, don't cut him. <laughs> yeah, I know. You already got a hole. Those are a nice pair. What's the brand? <laughs> What's the brand? What brand does he have? <laughs> oh! Just never, just never stops it's with him. It's a baby bud. Top of the line. Never stops, dude. Who God. wants to go for the one on my <laughs> Who wants to go for that one? <laughs> Ow! Stand Reach right down there. in there. Reach down in there. <laughs> Who's going for a big man? What? Ow! <laughs> Be sure. Hey, he's always got weed. I don't know where he's got it, though. I he's got not a big one on my baby. I got a big one. Please, I got another big, cool beer in here. I got to get it out. Please reach huh? in. How many more? I How know, many more are we, are we gonna I know there's up? one big huh? one. I know there's one big jail, one. Do it's hurting me. Soon, it's right? hurting me too. This big one. Ow! Ow! Officer! Ow! Please take it easy. Oh, officer! Oh! Ow! Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. It's crazy. Only in Las Vegas. Only in Vegas. We just sent the arrest report down to the jail, so the two guys will be booked in. Both of them are hustlers. These two probably went into the bar uh, to hustle some pool or hustle any way they could. I believe they probably walked into that bar, um, saw an older gentleman, he was nice to them, and they took advantage of him. We are on our way now to the uh, hotel room where they were staying to find out if there's any evidence of the murder inside of that hotel room. Oh, God. Here's a bloody tank top. Randy said that Kevin 
wore a tank top the night he killed him. So let's photograph that and take that. Bingo. We got the skateboard. So he says he's got his name on the truck. Pull cue. It's a uh, case. Pull cue, case, and cue. Did you find it in the trash? Yeah, it was yeah. in the bottom of this trash can. Yeah. We have witnesses that put him in the bar time of the murder with a red t-shirt. He said it was in the trash can. This is the one that he couldn't explain, you know. Yeah. Okay. I also talked to a security guard here who says that he's seen Randy wearing a red t-shirt. Hey, thanks, you guys. I appreciate it very much. We executed this search warrant. It turned out really well. I'm happy with it. Right over here, standing these two red feet. It's gonna be a minute, so just relax, all right? Turn your whole body and face that direction. Stay right there. Can you just write on there, uh, murder first degree? These are the items of personal property that were found on um, Kevin when we booked him. We have a search warrant for those as well. We'll um, go through that, photograph it, document it, and um, impound it. He parked the car, the victim's car, right under a camera. <laughs> See the beard? Yeah. Shave the beard. Oh, thank you. There is a God. We have a social security social. card of our murder victim in the suspect backpack. And his deal. That God. Is so good. Uh. <laughs> That's got to be his wallet then. That's his wallet. That is we have a murder victim wallet wonderful. inside the backpack. Can you say both? I can say can this say is very good first? forensic evidence. That just makes me very happy. This just sews it up, and I mean, he has a lot of explaining to do, and there's just no way around it. Page 5, State of Nevada versus Kevin and Randall, C200017. Mr. Mr. They're both present, they're both in custody, and you received a copy of the indictment in this case? Yes, ma'am. And you understand what you are being charged with? Yes, ma'am. And you discuss the nature of the charges with your lawyer? Yes. And you understand you are being charged with conspiracy to commit <coughs> robbery, burglary, first degree kidnapping, victim 60 years of age or, or older, robbery, victim being 60 years of age or older, murder, victim being 60 years of age or older, and possession of stolen property. How do you plead to the charges in the indictment? Okay, I'm going to enter your plea of not guilty, Mr. Yes, ma'am. How do you plead to the charges in the indictment? Not guilty. I'm going to enter your plea of not guilty. Thank you, Judge. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Sorry.